say a dog is a man best friend. Treat him right, both of y'all gon' win. They say a dog is a man best friend. Treat him right, both of y'all gon' win. I'm talking win win. I'm talking win win. I'm talking win win. I'm talking win win. This is what it come down to. Check this out. I just want to talk to y'all for a second and see if this is what it come down to. Y'all, we got to do better now. Hey, with these fleas and stuff out here, these ticks, you got to jump on it now. If you don't jump on it now, you're going to regret it later. What's going on out there, everybody? They say a dog. They say a dog. Is a man best friend? Treat him right, both of y'all gon' win. They say a dog is a man best friend. Treat him right, both of y'all gon' win. I'm talking win win. I'm talking win win. I'm talking win win. I'm talking win win. Hey, we accelerate, got motivated. Yeah, we took the stairs while the rest waited. Felt obligated to achieve dreams. Put my dog on a play, cause we all kings. Do it for my team, do it for my team. Try to take my dog food, you gon' see a beam. We want the cream, y'all can keep the fame. Yeah, we both deal with bullies, but we ain't the same. What's going on out there? My dog chain got on. found the choker. When I got that recipe, I told him game over. Accelerate it up an echelon. If you got your money right, come and get your son. Is a dog is a man best friend. Treat him right, both of y'all gonna win. They say a dog is a man best friend. Treat him right, both of y'all gonna win. Hey, what's going on out there, everybody? Hey, I'm back with another video. I just want to talk to y'all for a minute. Hey, um, check this out. This here, this here is the time of the year when these fleas and these ticks get to jumping. So I just want to come on here and talk with y'all just for a minute. Um, now, by the way, y'all saw that demonstration I was doing. I was, that was like the old days. I don't have flea issues no more. But uh, I just want to come on, talk to y'all for a minute, and just kind of explain something. Um, I'm not going to get into details about what what sprays and what type of medicine for your dogs or uh, tick and flea, flea and tick or uh, treatment is best. I'm not going to get in there because it'll be a big old thing about people will come with something about it. So this is what I want to do. I want to share a couple of tips with y'all. Okay. One, the area. First of all, what you need to do, we went through the winter months. So what we need to do, we need to get rid of that hay, get rid of that pine straw, see the shavings, anything you got that you was accumulating uh, for the winter time, for the dogs to help keep them warm. You need to get rid of that. Uh, like we still got a little cold, so you can kind of keep that in the dog houses, but if you got a extra part that need to be put up, it don't need to just be out where fleas can migrate in it and cause infestation. All right. Also, I don't know if my lighting and everything is good. Now I can't see. But uh, I do want to share something with y'all that I hadn't shared in a while. Y'all already know what time it is. Guess what I'm about to get ready to do, y'all? About to get y'all that, that view. About to get y'all that view. You already know. I ain't got to see it no more. The sun blowing. What? I hope the wind not really messing up the uh, the sound and the thing, but we already know the grass starting to, and that wild grass, that ain't no real grass, but it's starting to grow the way it's going to be time to get ready to cut. But let's get off of that and get back to the topic. Check this out. Okay, first of all, you want to do, around this time, you should have already done cleaned out the uh, shavings or whatever you're using for your bedding for your dogs. I don't care if it's cover, blankets, or whatever. Please migrate to all that. 
okay you want to go ahead and take care of that you want to get everything cleaned up inside of the bedding area all right that's that's one thing all right second thing you want to do the area where your dogs be at if you got any kind of debris and stuff laying around uh i mean anything just laying around where fleas can migrate to that area you want to take care of that too you want to jump on all that right now if not you're gonna have an issue with these fleas and some people are probably already having issues but some of the stuff that i learned over the years how i got rid of my fleas it worked real good for me i don't have a flea issue anymore so i've been die hard to it um like i say cleaning your area uh taking care of the dog bedding area <clears throat> those two <clears throat> are the main two things or two two of the uh, main things you want to do but there's one thing that's most important out of those two. The one thing you gotta remember, in order to have flea migrating by the millions, you gotta understand one thing. In order for fleas to stay in that area, fleas gotta eat. Fleas need that, that blood, they need to bite, they need to suck on, whether it's human flesh or animal flesh. Um, now, that's another thing too. What I did was how I got rid of mine, cause I it, it was before I got the bullets, but before then the other dogs I had, I had got them real bad. And I actually brought in a dog from another area that had them, and it just infested my whole area. And like, man, I thought I could never get rid of them. And the worst thing you want to do is track fleas in the house. Oh man, you want you want to see your spouse cut up? Track some fleas in the house and they bite you y'all in your bed you got to try to get rid of them but hey if you're a dog person you done been through that stuff before i had to put a stop to it so i spent the money when got the pills and i gave each one of my dogs a pill the last three months it was a three month supply to keep the fleas off of them and i used to spray myself down every time once i did that i went and got one of the little sprayers that hook up to the garden hose and i ran me a long hose pipe to cover the whole area and then you just buy you whatever you think is best to get rid of fleas and you saturate the whole area. And what I did was I sprayed the whole area down every day, not one time. I sprayed the whole area down every day. I soaked the ground soaking wet the whole time. I drowned the whole area. I pulled doll houses out, flipped them upside down. I took a rake. I raked the area trying to stir up the dirt anything to where they might migrate in wet all that down wet the doll houses down i did all that for a whole week all on fleas stop seeing fleas jump on me i wear khaki pants down there so i can see the, the fleas when they jump on me man i didn't see no more fleas and i was like man i got rid of them so i tried to slack off then all of a sudden i might see one or two here and there so i started back spraying again i started getting like oh man i need to spray i need to spray so i just kept on spraying but meanwhile, they was trying to feast off of me, but one having no issues with the dogs. So therefore, the fleas kind of disappeared. I wasn't seeing fleas no more. I wasn't seeing no ticks no more. All right. So once I took care of that, every year, at the beginning part of it, I always gave, I always gave the dogs the pills. And like I say, pill be based on your choice on what it is that you want. Just looking at something, y'all. Hope this wind ain't messing up the y'all. Uh, the video i hope i'm getting everything but what i did was let's walk back y'all but that wind that wind getting strong if it is y'all forgive me i'm gonna work on getting something better too so i can bring you better content kill some of this wind noise too and also mike uh, but what i just want to say is you got to make sure that those fleas do not have a place to dine to eat and then you start treating the area and no place to bed will uh, eliminate your flea problem or uh, at least get it under control depending on how big your area is also if your area is too big it may be a little bit harder to uh, control it but if your area is not that big you can control that area you just gotta jump on it early catch it early and that will take care of it so like i said you gotta take care of the bedding you gotta get all that bedding out uh burn it or whatever you're gonna do put it in bag throw it away you need to take care of that you need to take care of any kind of stuff laying around where fleas can migrate up under it. And then you need to make sure that you're giving your dogs some kind of treatment for the fleas. 
at least last a few months. Because if the dog, if the fleas have nowhere to go, nothing to eat on, they're gonna eventually leave anyway. So I just wanted to share that with y'all. Good being back too. Good being back doing videos. But I just wanted to share that with y'all. Not gonna hold you up any longer. Hey, before I go though, if y'all would smash that like button, hit that bell notification so y'all can stay updated for all the latest content over here, EAR Bullets. Man, YouTube, this feel good. Thanks for watching.